Yeah, everybody. Got a little bit of footage of me doing some. Um, I was flattening out the ground at behind the woolshed in the machinery yard there. I was using the little Massey Ferguson 135 and the little cultivator and also all the set of harrows we got. And I've had that footage for like, I don't know, almost a month now. I sort of haven't really had anything to slip it in with in a video that would really be of any relevance. I thought I'd just uh, chuck it in just here now, just with a little announcement, just being like, you know, not even a 10 minute video, I don't think. Um, of that, of me yeah, scratching all that dirt up to flatten it all out because of how rough it was. I do a full introduction and I yabber on about it in the video, but I'll let you all know now that I have made an Instagram account for just well, for the YouTube channel basically and just for out here on the farm. Um, and basically, that's just going to be like just sort of the behind the scenes sort of stuff um, and like just a little bit of the stuff that I don't really bother filming, like a few odd jobs I don't really film and just you know whatever in between um it won't take the place of any videos or anything that i'm gonna make um yeah it'll just be like a little something in between them or whatever and it'll just help me promote some of the videos for the channel on there so yeah i'll put the name of it on the screen down below um you can type that in and go through and yeah, the name of the channel is camshaft underscore farming dot mechanical it's a bit long but uh yeah once you found it you found it so um, that's just a little update. I won't bother on about getting on there or anything. I don't expect you to, as usual. I don't ask you to subscribe or like or anything. Um, just, yeah, just want you to enjoy the videos. And if you like them, just leave a comment or something. And, uh, yeah. So I'll leave that name of it on the screen. And I'll put a link in the description as well. Yeah, I'll, and that should be it. So I'll roll this into that footage now of me sitting on the little 135 scratching up that bit of dirt and yeah so thanks all for watching everybody see you in the next one morning everybody today doing something a bit different i am going to be tying up the yard of the ground a bit um as you can see she's pretty rutted out from last winter um that's how deep some of the ruts are. Um, all through the yard, sort of just in this area here where it gets a bit wet. There used to be a bit of a drain, I think, here. Um, yeah, so I'm going to hook a cultivator and a pair of harrows up, or a set of harrows up to the 135. I'll show you what I'm talking about. We rarely use them. Um, I can't remember the last time we used a cultivator. I was like, like well over 10 years ago. It's probably the same for the harrows, probably 15 years ago. Um, yeah, you're going to try and smooth all this out because it's just rough driving the bigger tractors over it. Just shakes it around and uh, good territory to do your ankle. So I'm going to smooth all that out and then I may even try and come out again. And I want to do some track repairs out the back where it's been a bit boggy. I want to get some dirt, just fill in a heap of the potholes. Maybe even get the little grader out and um, try and redo some of the drains. I definitely want to do some of the... Uh, drains that go under the track as well because some of them are flogged out but we'll see how we go so i'm going to disassemble these arrows from the cultivator and try and get them all hooked up so i'll show you what i'm talking about though so here's the uh the arrows and the cultivator um sitting on this trailer they've been there for years we like never used this we've used oh like as i said probably used it like 15 years ago I think. So I'm going to get the harrows off the top and try and untangle them and then yeah, get, lift the cultivator off and we'll hook it up to the tractor. But I think these particular harrows are called Murray harrows, I think that's what that calls them. But uh, hopefully they'll be alright. They've come apart from the frame, like the main grey in the frame. So I might hook it all back up. But hopefully they're not too flogged out and they don't fall apart when they get dragged on the ground. I'll bring the tractor over and we'll lift all this off.
I've already got him off the trailer. Yeah, it's gonna untangle him. And uh, yeah, we'll try and drag it. Drag one of the two away. So, we'll see how we go here. Alrighty, got the harrows all linked up how they're meant to be. So they're ready to go. So what I'll do is I'll just move the cultivator and then I'll bring the tractor and hook up to the cultivator and we'll start scratching some dirt. Alrighty, got the cultivator all hooked up. Um, as you can probably notice, there's a few broken points and a couple of missing ones. I think there's Oh, maybe there's only one. Okay, it's only got the one missing point, or one that's snapped. Um, but we'll do our best with what we got. Hopefully she can handle the abuse. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll show you what I'm talking about. She's obviously very old. This is pretty sure it's a Massey Ferguson cultivator. I don't know what year, but very old. It'd be, it'd be over 50 years old, I reckon. Um, yeah, so she's seen, seen a few winners. But look at the look at the nuts. Look how rusted away they are. Oh, that's like that. That's like that across the whole thing. Like, there's no nut even there. <laughs> so, hopefully she'll hold together. But now that we've got that all ready to go, it's all set up. It's pretty well adjusted, I think. Um, yeah, we'll go out there and try and scratch up that dirt and get it a bit smoother.
So this is all cultivated now. It actually looks so much better already. <laughs> Just from scratching it up, it's smoothed it out quite a bit. Um, so it shouldn't be too bad. So I've got the harrows hooked up now. We'll give it a couple of passes just to smooth it up. Um, won't go over it too many times because it's, yeah, it's going to just turn to dust, I think. Um, yeah, so that should be pretty good. And then the yard will be, you know, drivable again. So harrows hooked up and we'll uh, rip into her now. Already just finished up with the harrows. Um, yeah, it's like much way smoother than what it was before, so you can drive along there now without having to crawl and bouncing around the tractor and whatnot. So that's all gonna be better. Dad was just talking about then maybe using a little grader blade to redo the bit of a drain that sort of goes through there and drain some of the water away, but see how we go, see, see what's happening. So we'll leave it there for now.